back to the vlog. Today is Monday, March 22nd, and uh, today we do have a news video that has to come out, but that doesn't have to come out for a little while. Right now, I'm trying to work on this thing. So I did get this painted. If you do remember from last week's vlog, I'll pin down the card right now. I had uh, this like Death Star hallway 3D printed. So I actually cut out a piece of um, like it's like a DVD case from a Wii uh, case or whatever, like a like a Wii disc game or whatever. And uh, I'm using that as like the film for the back of this. And then I have this LED light strip that I'm using to uh, actually light up this thing. So um, I'm going to wrap it around the edge kind of like this and go all the way around. And I'll see how that works. Hopefully it looks good. So we got this plugged in and I got to say it looks really good. So it does not pick up the best on camera because you can actually see like the, the lights in the different spots. But like in person it looks really, really good. But the problem is, the light strip is too thick, it leaves this big gap in the side. So I gotta figure out what to do about that, maybe I'll trim the side of the LED strip, I don't know how well that would actually work, but um... Anyway, I do have to film a news video right now, but um, I do have to get some of these boxes back up on my shelf right there, sorry my light is in the way. But um, the problem that I've been having, is I go to stack it on this box right here, and it won't stay up. And I just, yeah. And there we go. We got everything cleaned up. Um, the figures on like the wall there look really, really good. I didn't really show this before in last week's vlog, but I totally redid this side of the wall, and I started stacking figures here. I do have to pin some of them in, like there's no thumbtack there, and on a few of those figures right there. But I gotta say, I think it looks really good. It really opens up the space more. Then of course, I yeah, I put the figures there. I put some more figures and stuff up there too. And uh, for this, what I ended up doing is just using some painter's tape, and I taped the boxes together, and that actually holds them all there pretty well. Of course, we got the speeder still there. And yeah, that really fixes that problem, so that's definitely going to come in handy later when I get more of these new box figures. And um, that's probably I'm probably going to go all the way up. One thing I might do is, you can see there's Commander Gree right back there. I might just move him and then push that back, kind of like here. We have that guy in the back. I might put uh, that guy right there too so you know free up a little bit more room for some of these uh, new box figures because I know I got a bunch more of those coming in the mail and uh, yeah so I gotta say it looks really good I really hope to get a display case I know I say this a lot but I really want to get a display case and um, actually start displaying these figures in that and I wouldn't have to leave some of them in the box like I really want to keep these guys out I just don't have any room to put them and anyway I do like this uh, whole look of them on the wall too so I don't know Anyway, let's get this news video filmed. Okay, guys, it is now Tuesday, and that means Ask Luke Ness Monster comes out, so I do have to film that. And I'm thinking for, like, the background set for that, I want to go with the uh, the trio here, Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Padme from Episode 2, so I think I'll set those up for, like, the set for this video. And, uh, yeah, so that means I have to get them down, which means I have to get all of these guys from up there down as well. So let's get that all set up and ready to film. So we got the three set up here and I think they look amazing together. I'm a big episode two fan so um, yeah I think these guys look amazing. And honestly I think these uh, would be a really good like set of figures to do a diorama for. Uh, like mainly the Geonosian Arena. I think that'd be super cool to do. Something I definitely want to do in the future. Don't have the skills to do right now probably but uh, I'd love to do it in the future. I think that'd be super cool. Anyway let's go and get this Ask Luke Ness Monster filmed. Hey guys, today is now Wednesday. We actually just got back from GameStop and unfortunately didn't have a whole lot. I uh, only thing really there that interested me was um, was Admiral Akbar there and I didn't really want to get him. I don't know why. I probably should have, but I didn't. And um, other than that, there's not a um, whole lot. I do, have to, I do have a video planned for today and I'm still trying to figure out what to do. I need to get one uploaded, but I'm not sure. So I know I've had like the uh, Boba Fett comparison video planned for a little while. I have him up there, uh, 40th anniversary Boba Fett, and then that Boba Fett. But um, the problem is uh, the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett has started to ship out and Hopefully mine will be here in a few days, so I'm kind of waiting for that one to ship before I do my comparison, because then it'd be kind of pointless to get that one in, and, but already release a comparison. So yeah, I'm going to wait on that, but 
for right now, I'd have to come up with a video. I thought about doing worst to first all Imperial Stormtroopers, but there's like 800 Stormtroopers on the list, and that would take so long. And just not something I want to do today. I kind of want to do that one like in advance so it doesn't take me two hours to, to get it filmed and edited. So I'm trying to figure out what other one to do for today. I might just do a review and do two reviews this week. But also, reviews don't get very many views, and I'm trying to get <laughs> a lot of views on videos. Of course, obviously, but... Yeah, so I'm still trying to figure out what video to do today. And I'll get back to you guys when I figure that so out. So, in uh, today's video, I'll probably be talking about um, how Diamond Select, which is actually uh, another action figure brand who makes both, like, a Marvel figures and Star Wars figures. They mainly do, like, Disney Store exclusives. They kind of leaked a uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier figure that has to do with spoilers for the TV show. So I'll probably cover that, and I won't show a photo because it does really include spoilers. So I'll pin that video in the card right now if you do want to see that. But yeah, that'll probably be the video for today. It'll be pretty short, but um, yeah. So today is now Thursday, and we're going to be doing the worst to first Imperial figures. And um, yeah, so I have a bunch right there, but first step is getting my set cleared off and getting them down on the table. So I gotta get those guys back in their boxes and back up there. So let's do that. We got a few of the stormtrooper figures down, but we gotta get the shore trooper and then the carbonized stormtrooper up there. I I am gonna count purge troopers in the list. I'm just not gonna get it down because then I have to get all pretty much that wall down. And uh, this guy is actually right under the purge trooper, which means I'd have to pretty much take this big thing, which is connected to each other, which means I also have to take stuff down from that wall and it's just a lot more work so i'm gonna leave the purge trooper there and just get the shore trooper and that guy down now, so. um i'm just thinking about how many stormtroopers there actually are in the black series uh i'm gonna go over every single variant of the stormtrooper not like re-release so like for the archive this guy got archived but i'm not gonna count the archive one as a new figure but there's just so many different releases of stormtroopers we have like three on the new body but we have so many on this old body Plus, uh, like, different Sand Troopers. We also have the Rogue One figures. I believe there's four different Rogue One Troopers. And uh, several different Solo Stormtroopers as well. So, this is going to be a long list. And a lot longer than I initially thought. So, I'm on Action Figure 411 right now. And I'm finding uh, Stormtrooper figures that I just forgot even existed. Holiday figures are going to have to go on the list. Uh, like this pack right here. Forgot this existed. So, it is about 30 minutes later. And I finally got all of the Stormtroopers written out on the list. And there's a total of 38 stormtroopers and i still have to put them in order so this is just all of them on a list so i can keep track of them i still have to put them in order so that's gonna be fun to put 38 different stormtroopers in order but um yeah let's go and see how uh, we do that and if you guys want to see that video I'll put in the card right now go check that out yeah, this is going to be interesting. So we got that video uploaded in total. It took about four hours to make, which is kind of insane. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, probably going to take it pretty easy for the rest of the day. Okay, and, guys, yeah. it is now Friday, and we ha do have to do a review for today. So I'm probably thinking uh, probably Snowspeeder Luke. I've been pushing him back for a little while, so I'll probably do Luke later next week, week, and then maybe Hot Rebel Tube after that. Uh, I still have to unbox my Han Solo 2 for you guys sometime this week, too. So I'll get to that eventually. But first, we've got to get all this mess cleaned up from yesterday's video. Hey, guys. Today's Saturday, and that means we actually have to do a news video today. Um, other than that, today, I was planning on probably working on my diorama a little bit. I'm hoping to get that released by next Saturday, uh, at least that first uh, video for that series. And, uh, yeah, so we do have some pretty good news to go over today, so you have to get that filmed real quick. And, uh, so yeah, I do have so to get my like script all written out for that uh, that news episode and uh, ready to film. Anyway, so. guys, today is now Sunday, and I do have to get this vlog uploaded today. But first, I'm actually going to unbox Han Solo here for you guys. So um, I did get this a few weeks ago, and I've been waiting to open it on the vlog. And uh, yeah, so now we're finally going to open it. So like always, the new Black Series figures has the four pieces of tape. I totally just like missed that there. Um the two on the sides and then the two on the top i'm not even showing this in camera that's all right though <laughs> yeah uh, they kind of go overboard with all the tape on the new boxes i think but um it is what it is get him out now and uh like of course they all have this little like film on the top and uh yeah i'm actually digging the uh the trench coat here 
Okay, we got him out. And um, for the most part, it looks like without the trench coat, this is basically just a new Hope Han Solo, but with like the Endor trench coat, which is cool. I like that quite a bit. Um, I was expecting the trench coat to be like a softer material, kind of like the uh, Luke Skywalker. His is like a pretty soft material, but um, this one is not as, sh uh, as soft. It's more of like a uh, rougher fabric. And uh, yeah, that's really interesting. Anyway, I am digging the trench coat quite a bit. Yeah. Anyway, guys, it is actually going to do it for the vlog. If you did enjoy, the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in next week's vlog.